One of our partners is Prepare for FY1 and I'd be interested to hear what you think of our Disease Spotlight campaign and our launch and where you think it will be successful in the marketplace. Okay, fantastic. Thank you. Um, firstly, I'm really proud to be able to partner with Disease Spotlight. As a teacher of medical students at undergraduate level, the way to provide meaningful learning experiences is to provide hooks around which they can build knowledge. What better way than having patient stories that people can look at, learn from, share some of the diaries that you mentioned that patients are going to be writing. Of course, they'd all be anonymised and you wouldn't be able to identify patient details, but the core knowledge in terms of certain conditions, what better way for a patient to tell their story to a student? The environment in the NHS at the moment is such that medical students can't get access to these patients. Sometimes they're not even in patients, sometimes they're in their own homes. Prepare for FY1 working in partnership with Disease Spotlight really would open up educational resources to medical students that otherwise they would be unavailable. So I'm really excited by in terms of looking at specific diseases, coordinating them with national days and providing meaningful learning resources for students to essentially be better doctors. I think what's also important for us is having the opportunity to work on diseases that maybe don't have their own disease days, that we want to raise awareness with, and we ask NHS Trust to nominate diseases for us that they would find interesting to get more information on. Absolutely. Equally, we'd like the NHS Trust to participate, expose their own kind of disease expertise, and show us within their trust who they think is the expert. We want to make them a centre of excellence and start focusing on the positives of that trust. I think that's a really fantastic idea and what better way to improve services, to improve patient care than get the patients involved in teaching and educating students. There's practical aspects to this which are just not feasible. We can't take students to every single patient, especially for rare diseases. So the bread and butter, you know, the heart failures, the respiratory failure, these are disease states that are very common and medical students will see on the wards. Things that are slightly more rare, um, it's a really good way to, to educate junior doctors and medical students. We're also partnering with What Made Educational. Prepare for FY1 is What Made Educational's brand, but we're not just focused on medical students and undergraduate medical education. One of What Made Educational's partners is I Want Great Care. And I Want Great Care is it's essentially it's a fairly new thing and not many doctors are aware of I Want Great Care but it's almost like the right uh, trusted trader rate a plumber for, for medicine. Now my generation I think it's a fantastic idea, I think we should be encouraging patient feedback as long as it's monitored and there's the right checks and balances in place um, but through I Want Great Care and patient reviews uh, and involving patients I think we really can push forward and improve healthcare in the UK initially and if not further on than that afterwards. So in conclusion, What Med Educational and Prepare for FR1 are incredibly excited to be involved with Disease Spotlight. So thank you very much.